Thinking Ryanair, right there, Novices Chase is next, is a two mile chase for Novices. Dream Dagger at the top, Leon Van Rensburg, Line of the King, Joshua Swillam, Blackstone Cherry, David Robertson, Melon Lover, Darren Thompson, My Chance, David Hooley, Stop Look and Listen, Leon Van Rensburg, and the pause for Joshua Sutherland. So, seven runners, all from the top yards. Called in and away. No interloping handicap boys in this one. And Dream Dagger is in the lead. Presumably there are plenty of two mile handicap races this week. So Dream Dagger's in, Dream Dagger's in the lead. From Men and Lover. As they go past the winning post. One circuit ahead of them. And Dream Dagger for Leon Van Rensburg is in the lead. So get to the first of the ten. Uh, mistake there by. Josh's horse, the pause, he's got two in this. As he quite often does have in these group one races. Get them in, of course, because I suppose horses are probably rated too hard for a lot of the handicaps, so that's a good job. We do allow two runners now. I didn't used to when I first joined the league, it was only one runner. And I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but it was something I'll bang on about for a while, and eventually people gave in and agreed with me. Anyway, they get over to third. We'll safely over that. I've got an argument that says that you should be allowed to run as many as you like. They get over the fourth, and then we just ballot out the bottom ones the same as they do in real racing, because what that would do in effect would be if the likes of Josh and Leon and maybe even David Hooney and Co. were running three or four in the Gold Cup, it would take their Horses they're putting out in the, in, in the 0 to 140 handicaps can give the lower folks a bit of a chance, but who knows? I don't know whether that will be right or not. Might get too confusing, I suppose. But anyway, it's Dream Dagger in the lead. I don't know why I talk about all these changes because nothing ever does change, really. It's Dream Dagger in front. Blackstone Cherry is second. Then the line of the King and the Paws with my chance after that one. Meta Lover and finally Stop, Look and Listen. He really needs to start run and race rather than stop look and listen and they get over the seventh the stable companion dream dagger is clear in front on blackstone cherry in second and the line of the king man of the pause and my chance in a line and then stop look and listen is starting to get a little bit closer as they head down towards the third last Safely about all jumped it well, not very noisy near them. All jumped it like good solid horses and dream back all leading to this second last, which is a ditch. And there's a fall there, Blackstone Cherry's gone, so Blackstone Cherry out at the second last. And Dream Dagger is four to five clear of Mel and Lover in second. The two of these behind are not picking up at all. Stop looking, listen, he's starting to run on, he's gone past the balls. But there's two furlongs to go and just one more fence to get over and Dream Dagger is clear but we've seen in previous races horses have just hit the wall after the final fence and is that going to happen this time? Men and Lovers over it in second and also flying is My Chance and Men and Lovers taking it up it's Men and Lovers who's gone on My Chance is flying down the outside Dream Dagger's well beaten there as they race into the final half furlong it's My Chance who's getting up on the outside and My Chance is starting to pull away and My Chance takes it from Men and Lover, Line of the King, Stop, Look and Listen, did start run and race in the end and finished fourth. And actually beat his stable companion in the process. So my chance takes it for David Hooley, keeps the title race alive, maybe just Mel and Lover second for Darren Thompson. The Line of the King, Joshua Sutherland back in third, Stop, Look and Listen was fourth and Dream Dagger fifth, was, was fifth, both for Leon van Rensburg.